Hello everybody and welcome to this episode of Gaming with Yearling. I'm here with my co-host Mojo. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> she wasn't ready for that apparently. So Mojo, tell me a little bit about your experience with uh, Battlefront 2. Well, uh, it's been an experience of growth, I guess it'd be. <laughs> I was much of a gamer before playing this game, but Yearling over here kind of forced my hand, and he now says I'm better than him. I don't agree, but... <laughs> well, here's the thing. You know, I think, you know, we've, we've been gaming together for a little while, and I think the first game that we ever played together was Diablo 3 for the Xbox 360. Probably. And you... <laughs> let's just say that I had to walk back and kind of help you... A couple times, and you always seem to die during the boss fights. And it, it was mostly a one-man show, but but now, you know, I see you playing Battlefront 2, and, and you're kind of like, you know, really kicking butt at it. So, I think that's really cool. I can't I can't quite get you to play Zelda Breath of the Wild yet, but we'll see what happens. Getting there. <laughs> so, anyways, we wanted to talk about this newest patch coming out for uh, Battlefront 2, which is. I'm going to call it the Ewok patch. Uh, Mojo, what do you think of the Ewok patch? Um, <laughs> I'm very mixed about it. I'm curious. Um, a lot of YouTube videos that I've been watching and people that I've been listening to over the last few months were calling for some sort of game like this with the Ewoks or another creature. I've always kind of just been unsure about it, and as far as that part of the patch goes, I'm kind of still in the same boat. So we'll see. Yeah, I guess I have to agree with you. You know, I remember I used to play Halo 2 way back in the day when I was really little, and there was, you know, in custom games, you could make a zombie game mode. And it, it sounds like this Ewok game mode is going to be kind of like a zombie mode where you start out and maybe there's a couple Ewoks and a group of stormtroopers and the Ewoks have to attack the stormtroopers and for every stormtrooper that dies there's another Ewok on the on the enemy team and that game mode has been I mean that's been made to death there's really not very much unique about it what's unique about it is that this is going to be a rebranding of that kind of I guess classic game mode now with a Star Wars skin, and, and that could be exciting for some people, but I think that uh, with these slow communications from EA DICE and and the fact that, you know, people have been wanting Clone Wars content, I mean, really wanting Clone Wars content, and they seem to totally ignore it with these new Trooper skins that they say are only for uh, Galactic uh, Empire and First Order troopers i think they're kind of missing the mark here i mean it's like you know they why don't they just give us clone trooper skins it doesn't make any sense to me so um so what do you think of that i mean do you, you're not like a huge gamer girl and, and and i don't think you've experienced having like customization but there's like a lot of stuff out there for uh clone troopers yeah i mean i definitely hear the call for the clone customization i I don't particularly care either way, except for the fact that they're not listening. And um, I'm glad we're getting something. That that's a start. But why it's limited, I I just don't understand. You know, and and the thing is, I'm such a big Star Wars fan. Like, you know, we have all the movies. We went to see The Force Awakens maybe six times together. And you know, we even saw The Last Jedi probably three or four times, whether I want to admit it or not. Uh, that's a whole nother discussion. But I think that, you know, it seems like Disney is taking the original Star Wars for me. And, you know, I wasn't around when the games, or uh, not the game, but the movie first came out. A New Hope first came out. I was young when The Phantom Menace came out. And um, I loved that movie when I first saw it, but then I didn't see it for a couple years. And I remember a conversation in college I had with a friend. I was like, man, I love The Phantom Menace, dude. And he's like... Dude, that movie's for babies. <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean? He's like, when was the last time you watched it? And I was like, oh, I don't know, maybe before middle school. And he's like, go back and watch it. And I did, and I was like, wow, this is this is really something. But it's still um, Star Wars, so you still love it first, you know. Yeah, and... But, you know, it's, it's like Ewoks. I mean, really? 
you know, why don't we have General Grievous? Why don't we have Count Dooku? Where is Anakin? Where is Obi-Wan? I mean... Well, what I do think will be interesting, though, with the Ewoks is that you get a chance to play as the Ewoks. Yeah. And so that's not something you usually see. You don't usually get to play as the zombie, at least not in the games that I've played. So I'm really curious to see, like, what type of weapons they have. Are they going to have different, like, are they going to have classes? Or are they just kind of be, like, an Ewok? Or yeah. um, how that's going to work. So... That could be cool. If that's done really well, it might it might end up being more promising than yeah. we're assuming. So, so you're kind of excited about being able to play as like a different creature other than basically just a humanoid or... Um, well, I'm curious as if they'll be in the same like algorithm. Like, are we going to have a heavy Ewok? Or is it just... Oh, I see They use like saying. different weapons. Like so, in like, the movies, they have bows and like... Oh, we could have like a ranged Ewok and we could have... Right. Like a spear Ewok and then some beefy Ewok who can take lots of damage and stuff. <laughs> right, so if they did that, I think that this game mode could be much more interesting and have more to offer because it would be something new. If not, I, I have mixed, you know, I'm not sure. You know, I think you're right though. If they could put like the traps from episode 6 on there with the, you know, if the stormtroopers could have an ATST. And the Ewoks could set a trap with like those big logs that swing down and crush crush the ATSC. I think that'd be really cool. That'd be really interesting. I don't think that EA Dice is gonna make a game <laughs> mode like that. I think it's gonna be basically, uh, you know, strike, but one team is Ewoks and the other is stormtroopers. Um, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Mm. Yeah, I guess I guess we will have to wait and see. Uh, you know. We're really excited to be making YouTube videos, and I think we've got a lot of good content coming down the line for you guys. So, subscribe and like if you liked the video, and if you didn't like the video, then go away, I don't like you anymore. Uh, or you could comment and tell us why. Yep. Alright, well thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.